And his man just told me, he says, you know what, Carl? This guy just got uh, busted with pot. And uh, he asked the cop. He, the cop says, get out of your car. I said, is that an order? He said, absolutely. He says, uh, oh, we found some pot. You're going to take a ride downtown. You're under arrest. He says, oh, you ordered me back of your car? You ordered my hands on it? Yeah, absolutely. He said the guy came out of jail the very next morning. Was that the very next morning? He, he sent out three bills to the cop, the captain, and the police commissioner. For five thousand dollars, guess what? The charges were dropped on him immediately. Yeah, this shit is so simple. It's scary, dude. I don't know why the hell you're dicking around with lawyers. This shit is so scary. It's, it's ridiculous. All right, all right. So, so I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have this guy come on the side of the show and explain how he did it. He said, "Hey, is that an order?" Yes. You ordered me back of the car? Yes. Oh, this is going to be fun. How about handcuffs? Can I get handcuffs? Hey, why don't you put some on my ankles, too? How about you order me to give you ankles? The kids, they just charge you. You just keep racking up the bills. Every time he orders you to do something, hey, man, that's another 50 bucks, another 100 bucks. Kid was racking it up. Turn to the left. Turn to the right. Now, give me your thumbprint. Yeah, not a problem. He handed him a bill. He went home, gave him an itemized statement of the bill for each fingerprint, 50 bucks. Turn to the left, 50 bucks. Cooperates in the back of the car, 50 bucks. Guy came up with a $5,000 bill, handed it to the cop, and the cop, the captain, the supervisor. They all dropped the charges. Now he wants to know how to collect on that $5,000. That part of the show I never taught you people. You people are crazy. You guys would be all running up there writing bills like crazy. It's fine that you're writing the bills, but I just don't really want you guys collecting on them. All right. How do you collect on them? That's right, because you guys would, and you make the police department broke. And are you going to be the one riding around the squad car three, four, five, six in the morning dealing with crazy people worse than you? Would you want to do his job? Hell no, you wouldn't. So that's why I don't want to hurt the police officers, and I don't want to hurt hit them Well, just the getting the charges dismissed is a payment enough, isn't it? That's right. That's all I'm teaching people to do. I'm not teaching people to collect, to, to lean up the police officers and take their pensions or take their paychecks because this guy certainly wouldn't want to do that policeman's job, and he knows there's a hell of a lot worse guys in his neighborhood than him. And he certainly wouldn't want the bad guys running around his freaking neighborhood because those police leave your neighborhood, you're at the mercy of people worse than you in your own neighborhood. Oh, believe me, if you live in that Richmond area, I know that area, and I wouldn't... I would definitely want a cop in that area. I just mentioned that gentleman um, up in Canada who sent a bill to the uh, chief of police and the officer. Um, could I do the same thing with my charge, even though it's yeah. been that long? And I never asked him if that in a, is that an order, but I did do everything he said. I complied with everything he said. Yeah, so if I carried out all your orders, you could say something like that. I carried out all your orders. I was in full compliance, was I not? Uh, you know, I did everything uh, that you wished of me to do, and now I'm going to uh, require you to uh, pay me compensation for, for uh, you know, for my, uh, you know, for carrying out your orders. Okay. Pretty simple. 